I'm here with punter Kirk Christodoulou from Melbourne, Australia. Quite the trip. How has it been since you arrived in Pittsburgh? Uh, a bit colder than I expected, to be honest. Uh, coming from sunny sunny Melbourne in Australia has been a, quite a transition to come here and to see snow and live in snow for the first time. So good thing that i got some boots and stuff now to, to sort of deal with the ice. That's okay. This is your first time with snow then? Uh, I've seen snow up in the mountains and stuff, but never like just out the door and walking outside and on the street. So You've been training with Pro Kick Australia for two years, two years now. No class just training, morning, night. What will it be like to transition into this class and football period? Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited to get back into school and just get learning again. Um, I finished high school in 2015, so having a year off, um, I'm just uh, ready to hit the books again. I'm, like, I'm excited to read and get back to class. Like, I had a few classes yesterday, and it's actually really interesting to just finally like engage with a teacher and a professor and stuff like that. You owe a lot of your success to getting to this point to your two coaches back in Melbourne, Australia. What was it about Pro Kick Australia that improved your game? What growth have you seen? Oh, everything. Um, Nathan Chapman and both John Smith, they, that program is run perfectly. And um, you can tell by the success that they've had so far sending guys all over the country. Um, I, didn't, I heard about them from another guy that had been, he's at Penn State now, um, Danny Pascarello. So just being able to like be part of that program and see the professionalism of it all and learn to punt properly and you know, just not just come over here with just a big leg, but actually have a refined technique has made a big difference in, in how I punt. You visit a lot of schools over the summer. Why Pitt? Uh, just being able to like have that good relationship with the coaches and it's a great city and also having Jordan next door, Jordan Berry, um, makes it a little bit easier to transition coming halfway across the world. Have you two reunited at all? I know you were friends before this. Yeah, um, so I've known him for about two years, but the first night I got here, my mum told me to pack a uh, set of sheets and bedding and stuff, but I said, oh, I'm not going to take it all on an international flight. And next thing you know, I get in the room late at night and there's nothing there. So I've slept in my first night on the on a bare mattress with uh, just a jacket. So I thought I sent him a text the next day. I'm like, Jordan, mate, you got to take me to get some, some pillows and doona and stuff. So... He took me the next day, went to Walmart and got a pillow so at least I'm a bit more comfy at night. So you have everything taken care of. Yeah. Jordan gave you a little bit of help. Yeah, he looked after me, he took me out and he bought me dinner as well. So at least let me just get in a good meal and then go back and have a nice sleep. Not a bad friend to have on the Pittsburgh Steelers, huh? Yeah, exactly. It's really nice. All right, well, we look forward to having you. Thank you, Kirk. Thanks, no